Hello, welcome to Mantle Farm in 2022. It's the 26th of January and Roger and I think it's probably a good idea to check on fondant and stores and uh, check the entrances aren't blocked up. We've had some reports from local beekeepers that uh, they've had significant losses already this year. I'll put the question to Roger a bit later in this video uh, to get his opinion on it. Many suspecting a varroa bomb given the mild warmer weather we had in our autumn. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get going with this year's season of beekeeping here at Mantle Farm. over the flowers. <laughs> right, so first thing I'm going to do is take this mouse guard off because it's on a small entrance anyway isn't it? It's on a very small entrance. I'm concerned that the entrance, small as it is, might be obstructed by a couple of dead bees. Yeah, so there's a couple of dead bees there, look. Yeah. That one's a Varroa victim I would imagine. Quite a lot of dead bees on the floor there. There's some bees in there still, look. Mm. Yeah, there's a couple of good seams of bees there. Yeah, another seam of bees. So we've got three seams of bees there, so that's probably all right. And they are deep frames as well, aren't they? Yeah, and they're 14 by 12 frames, so it does, having a bigger entrance will hopefully stop us uh, having this business of the, the entrance being blocked. So I'm going to put it that way around with the bigger entrance showing. To the next one. To the next one, which is the polynuke here. Polynuke. Again, it's a 14 by 12. Um, I've seen bees in there out of here. The other day? When it was on bit... Sunday when I was here. Oh, very good. There we go. Well, they've got through that. They've practically finished that wadge of foundation, of uh, fondant. So there's an encouraging number of bees here. Yeah, there's quite a lot of bees in here, obviously they're getting through the food and that's, there's still... Oh yeah, look at that. ...a bit there. There's a bit on that top bar there. Oh, that one's all right, they can get in there. Um, yeah, apparently they can get in there as well, so they can get into that both ends. Uh, I think I'll just leave it then. Um, Check it in. But it's not going to last a lot longer, I reckon. Next week they're going to need another one. Um, oh no, it was this one that was concentrated in that corner. Oh yes. Uh, so they've already finished one pack. I just left this bit of plastic on because it would still have bits of height adhering to it. Right. Um, and I've put another pack on. So the observant viewers would note that that's a one of the sort of pollen substitute yeah. type packs, I guess, is that because we didn't have... We didn't have any, any ordinary those. fondant and uh, also I felt that it wouldn't do any harm because um, the pollen and pollen substitute is an addition to the fondant anyway. Uh, yes. So, you know, there's still a lot of sugar they're getting. Um, this is something to, to, to bear in mind. If you've got packs of fondant that don't cover the whole top of the thing then you need to make try and make sure that when you put it on it goes somewhere where the bees are actually Clusters. already yeah um because otherwise they could you know it could be you know like isolation starvation where they just too far away from it to to access it um because they can be a bit stupid at times uh, so are there any theories on why they're so far towards the front? Is it just accessibility, do you think? Or I don't know. It might be that that's the way they went to the food and, and they've 
kind of got stuck there. Um, I mean, there's, I think, I think I could see quite a lot of food in here. There's sealed stores just down there and down there. So they're okay? So they seem to be all right. Go on, darling, in you go. You don't want to be out there, you'll get cold. Yeah. Right, yeah. and then the next one. And to the Old next. Old WBC. Oh, bees. Uh, there we have bees. It all appears pretty hunky-dory. Yeah. I'd kind of like to turn that round through. Oh, so it's over the... 180 degrees so that the the fat bit of fondant is where the bees are. That looks like a, a fairly well populated, reasonably healthy lot of bees. Yeah. So I'm happy with these. I'm quite happy with the whole lot really. Mm. Um, it's come to light, we've had some reports of... Yes, we've had some reports of, of people having quite serious losses already. I think they're right in thinking it's probably Varroa. Yeah. Uh, mostly. But, on the other hand, as I was saying earlier on, um, two of my 12 nukes, six frame nukes, managed to starve to death by the first week in December. One of them had been dead for a while because the bees were starting to go mouldy. The other one was ju I just... I was just too late to say them. What, what would tell them that it's Varroa? Usually there are very few bees left on the comb. There is usually a certain amount of brood, depending of course on the time of the year, a certain amount of brood that's either just emerging or capped. And the capped brood will sometimes have holes made in the cappings. But any brood that's actually died after it's been uncapped, they tend to be, well, obviously head out, but their tongues are, their proboscis is fully extended. So that's apparently, that's a, a, a sure sign of varroosis. Well, if they've starved, there will be probably no brood at all. Yeah. There will be a lot of bees head right down in the cell so only their only their tails and the tips of their wings are sticking out um, there will usually be a lot of dead bees on the floor because you know they've died and they've dropped off the combs whereas with varroa it appears that the sick ones go out and commit arry carry in the in the bundu somewhere yeah um, they you know they just walk away yeah um, um. We should say goodbye to everybody. Yeah, goodbye to everybody. And please ask us some questions because, you know, we do like to be able to have a rant about something that, that's concerning other people rather than just my personal um, bees in my bonnet. <laughs> Absolutely. That's what we should call it. And we'll see you on the next video. Yeah, and we'll see you all hopefully in the next video. Thank you for watching our video here on YouTube. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Until next time, goodbye from Mantle Farm.